As a realtor with Berkshire Hathaway and the Dolly Hewlett Group, our focus first is customer service and buying and selling second. So today, we took a drive down to Henderson, Nevada to check out this home that was redone by the owner and is now being sold by him. And that tour is coming up. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is MJ. I'm a realtor right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, working under the Berkshire Hathaway brand under the Dolly Hewlett Group. And here on this channel, we do home tours all around the Las Vegas Valley. Also, you don't have to. If you're new here and this is the first time we've met, I appreciate you stopping by to check out the channel in this video. I really hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel as it's updated regularly. So today we took a drive down to Henderson, Nevada to check out this for sale by owner. The owner did an immaculate job remodeling this home and I'm super excited to show you guys. So let's get to it, get out there, check it out. Let's go. All right guys, welcome. We have arrived out in Henderson, Nevada. We're gonna take a look at this for sale by owner today. This owner bought this home and he refinished it. Basically all, but the house itself is brand new. So I really hope you enjoy this tour. I really enjoyed walking through this one. He did an immaculate job. So to start off, the front yard is completely redone. You got all those fresh rocks. You got some with the artificial turf there and those big large trees offering great shade in the summertime. This home does sit on a 6,098 square foot lot. It offers 2,758 square feet featuring five bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a three bay garage. It was built in 1998 by Lewis Holmes. Lewis Holmes was bought out by KB Homes in the same year. And this was actually one of the very last Lewis Holmes built. In case you didn't notice already, all the windows do have solar screens on there. So that'll help you out in the summertime with that energy bill. Front door is French door, so we have that double open. So let's go ahead and head on inside. As soon as you come inside, you're greeted into a dual layer room with large vaulted ceilings. We've got some plant shelves up there. You'll notice the tile as well as a hardwood floor. You'll immediately notice these hardwood floors in here and they are real wood on top, but they are engineered below. Nothing wrong with that. He did finish them all throughout. You're also going to notice the tile flooring. It's going to be straight lay there and right on the entryway. It actually has a herringbone. I didn't really show that in the video. The light fixtures are new throughout. To the right there is the stairs to go upstairs. As we come into the main living area, you'll notice that it is split level also. You got the living room to the right there and the kitchen and dining nook to the left here. They did a lot of work in the kitchen here. They completely ripped out all the cabinetry and put in new. This granite that they chose is absolutely gorgeous. You got a nice white background, gray, gray undertones, as well as a nice little pinkish purple, almost kind of lavender touch to it. Really, really beautiful. They added the color lighting above the cabinetry as well as crown molding on top of the cabinetry. You get brand new appliances. The refrigerator, the range, and the dishwasher are all Samsung. And the microwave is Whirlpool. You have a nice backsplash there. Cabinetry is single pane. I come down here, take a peek here. The island is a light gray and the rest of the cabinetry is a bright white. I personally love this as it adds a subtle yet elegant contrast to the look and feel of the kitchen. I know I've already said this, but most of the light fixtures throughout the house are new. These two fans here in the living room, they are not new, they are original to the home. I do think that they add a nice feel to the living room. Push around some nice air too, having a dual. We've got a gas fireplace over there with a new face on there. We're gonna come into the first bedroom, which is actually on the main level. This is the only bedroom on the main level, which is a truly amazing feature to have. Walking around this bedroom, I really felt it was about 10 by 10 up to maybe 12 by 12. We've got a nice size closet there. It actually is pretty deep. We're gonna go left here into the laundry room next. We've got a gas hookup. One unique feature about this home is behind the door there, not the garage door, the door to the laundry room, I mean, you have a panel that controls all the water to all the different sinks in the house. 
The advantage to that is if you needed to shut off the hot water to specific spots in the house, you'd be able to do that right from that panel. Looking around the garage here, it is a finished room. The insulation on the garage door is there to help you save a little bit more money in the summer. There is a soft water loop out there. We're coming back inside. We're going to take a look at this bathroom here. It is a three quarter bathroom with a shower. The cabinetry in here was refinished. We've got a new sink and faucet there. I want to show you this flooring. This flooring I thought was really, really beautiful. I love wood look laminates. And hey, if you guys are enjoying this tour so far, please consider giving the video a like. It really helps out the video. Thank you so much. We're going to whip back out here. We're going to head out to the back patio. We've got a nice large backyard here. It is fully finished. Got some new rocks. It was windy the day before this video, so a lot of leaves fell from the tree. Got all new bushes. The tropical plants in the two corners were still from the previous owner. Um, the trees are obviously still from the previous owner, given their size. Got a covered patio. I believe a barbecue stub out there, as well as a dog run. What you see sticking out of the wall right there is for the exhaust from the gas fireplace. Walking over here, I'm gonna take a look down this dog run so you can see the air conditioners are over there as well. There's two of them. Nice high wall there, you got nice privacy. One thing I did in my backyard is actually put a, uh, a tarp on the back wall through the summer and we can watch movies out there with a projector. It's a lot of fun. Come back in through the kitchen again. I wanna show you this backsplash real quick. It is really, really nice. Has nice depth to the kitchen. Get a feel for the front room again. Got that multi-level. Nice high ceilings. Now we're gonna head upstairs. First, we're gonna head right. There's gonna be a few bedrooms to the right as well as a full bathroom. We got plant shelves on the left as well as stairwell lighting on the wall there. All the molding in this house is upgraded as well along with the padding and brand new carpet. We're gonna take a peek in this bathroom first. This is a full bathroom with dual sinks. Again, the cabinetry in here has been refinished. A nice espresso color gives a nice deep, rich tone to the bathroom. Allows you to have so much diversity with your paint on the walls. We're gonna whip back out here and go into this first bedroom to the left here. These bedrooms are about 10 by 10. Generous sized closets. As you can see, they have three doors there. Across the hall. Pretty much a mirror of the previous bedroom. Slightly different view out that window. All right, guys, I got to pause the video here as I have a confession. I actually did not walk in that bedroom and I sincerely apologize. That bedroom was actually about the size of another master. It's about 15 by 15, which is an absolutely amazing size. You got that built-in desk over there as well as another large closet. I apologize again for not going in there. But anyhow, on with the tour. Now we're gonna walk up into the master bedroom. We've got a large master bedroom here, I would guess about 15 by 15 as well, maybe a little bit bigger, 17 by 17, 17 by 15, somewhere right in there. Master bath is where the real hero is here though. You got the dual vanities there, one of them with a makeup counter, as well as a large soaking tub. And then the two large windows there letting in so much natural light. Got a floor to about three quarters to the ceiling, glass on the shower there. Nice tile all throughout. It's the same as on the floor. It goes off the side of the wall there. It's a really nice touch. Again, the cabinetry is refinished. Same espresso color as the previous bathrooms. And a large walk-in closet here with a little bit of a vault on the ceiling there. You could actually add more cabinetry or shelving up above if you care to. And one last little bit of information, the HOA in there is about $10 a month. Get a little bit of 
of street maintenance, as well as common areas. And that about wraps it up for this tour, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tour as much as I did showing you. If you did enjoy it, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you want to see more content like this. If you have any questions about this property or if you're interested in setting up a private tour, please feel free to contact me as I'd be happy to answer any questions or set up a private tour just for you. If you're interested in buying or selling right here in Las Vegas, please give me a call. I'm happy to show you around the Las Vegas Valley and we'll find the perfect home just for you and your family. Also, let me know in the comments below where you want to see next here in Las Vegas. I'll keep a tally of that and we'll head out there and check it out. And on that note, guys, I'm going to wrap it up and finish up here. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later.